Hi, Stefan Harvin here, Iron Direct Primary Care. I'm joined here with Arden. Uh, you're a PA as well, right? Yes, I am. Physician assistant, athletic trainer, and uh, diving into the sales world a little bit. That's right. And you have a med spa out in Illinois, was it? Louisiana. Louisiana. That's right. Louisiana. Yeah, that's been a lot of fun. So I, I got out of uh, traditional medicine about three years ago um, when I got out of the matrix and I saw the light and saw that I wasn't really helping people. So now I get to help people for a living and it's a lot more fun. It's way more fun. Wow. What were you doing in commercial medicine? So I started my career as an athletic trainer and there, and there you got to, to help people, right? Athletic trainers focus on um, prevention and rehabilitation of athletic injury. So you're working with a lot of sports, uh, more sports medicine folks, a lot of athletes, very black and white medicine, right? If it's broken, you fix it. Um, and then when I had kids, I got out of that lifestyle and got into urgent care. And that's where all good providers go to die. Uh, you know, where antibiotics and steroids flow like honey and um, for for colds and sniffles and, and all that jazz. So it really sucked the life out of me. I was there for six years. Wow. Yeah, I was there maybe for a year, two years. Yeah, I was there for like two and a half, three years. It was, uh, that was something. You see just kind of really sick people who aren't taking care of their health. They just go use it as needed, right? They just, you know, go in when they're sick, right? That's what yep. they do. That's how they use it. Right. It's a kick the can box, you know, <laughs> where you don't really fix anything. Um, every now and then, you know, you get a lack and you sew somebody up and everybody's thankful and they move on. Um, but for every one good experience you like that, you have 150 that are um, just kick you, in, kick you in the groin, you know? Yep. Again and again. Get you. <laughs> over and over. And it's a death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, I know how that is. Cool. And then you got into uh, more functional medicine, right? I did. So I was, I was really burned out. And uh, one night my wife looked at me and she's like, you know, I want you to start doing my Botox. So why don't you go take a class? And I said, okay. And so that's, that was my first introduction to a, an alternative lifestyle when it comes to medicine. Um, you know, especially as a mid-level provider, I thought I was kind of stuck to um, the, the traditional Western medicine norms, right? I had to work directly with a doctor working in a hospital setting, or, you know, if you work for a private practice, you're basically stuck. Um, there's no advancement, there's no movement. And, um, with, when I went to this class, I was like, well, number one, I can combine my medicine brain with an, an artistry that I really enjoy. Um, and so I just kind of dove into it. And then I started to get into the um, hormone function stuff and the, you know, thyroid function and just more of a, a, a functional holistic approach uh, to medicine. So uh, the, the clinic started off as just an in facial injectables, uh, but now it's moving into more of uh, facial injectables plus, you know, functional type aspects of medicine. Yep. And it just gives you back life and enjoyment to practice medicine again. Yeah, it really does. Uh, and and your, your patients come in, number one, they're thankful up front. <laughs> um, and then they're thankful on the back end. If, the, if you have a patient that's willing to listen, then man, that goes so far. Um, who's willing to learn and, and educate themselves. And they usually come in educated and we can have a discussion and boy, that does a lot for your psyche. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, you got into uh, the bioprotein. How'd you first learn about that? So I first started off um, finding BioPro as a business owner looking to add a retail offering in my clinic. Um, I was looking for more and more products and we had, you know, skincare stuff and this and that. And then I came across BioPro on a Facebook ad and one thing led to another. I got in touch with the owner. I became a distributor. Well, first off, before I became a distributor, um, he sent me a couple of boxes to try and I was about to have a shoulder surgery and um, I actually tore my labrum lifting a patient in urgent care. So I had all that nonsense going on. And so I started BioPro two weeks before my surgery. And at my one month follow-up to the surgery, uh, the surgeon said it was the fastest recovery he'd ever seen. I felt great. I had full range of motion in my shoulder. I was like, man, this is awesome. And uh, so I became a believer and then a distributor. Yeah. And then um, about a year later, he was like, Arden, you're, 
you're killing it. Um, I need somebody to to work for us to represent all of our providers and have like a liaison and someone professional to talk to. And so here we are. Now I uh now I manage all the providers around the world. That's awesome. So you're it's quite international, isn't it? We're in over 40 countries now, every state in the US. And yeah, it's really cool. And we I'll, I'll speak to a physician in the the UAE or Japan or India. And um, it, it really is an international affair. That's so cool. I met you at one of the anti-aging conferences and I saw that. And I was like, I've heard about <clears throat> uh, that elk antler deer velvet before. I've, I've heard some people using it. And uh, it seemed like just a very convenient method to increase growth factors into the body. And I was like, well, I'll try this thing out. Because uh, my patients are very cool. They're, they're willing to experiment with things with me. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, Elk Antler kind of has a bad rap a little bit in the United States from the Ray Lewis stuff and the uh, VJ Singh. And, you know, I, I tell folks that the things that they quote got busted for, number one, they use VAE as a fallout um, because that's not, it's impossible to come up on a drug test. So that's not what the issue was. Um, but number two, most Velvet Antler supplements are sold at GNC and they're equivalent to toenail clippings, right? Um, the, these companies are, they're finding calcified remains of antlers out in the wild or out in a farm, and then they grind them up and put them in a capsule. And that's not, it's inert, it's dead. They're not getting a benefit from that. So our process uh, is a little bit more like a PRP process. The the animals, uh, they they stay with us there. They live longer in our care than they do out in the wild. And the proprietary methods that we have to, to capture this stuff is unlike anything else in the market. Uh, and I can confirm that I have a couple of case reports for you here because um, I have been using peptides on patients yep. before I encountered the bioprotein. So <clears throat> one case I have is a, a 62 year old lady. She's my mom and she's been great at experimenting with things. She's, I love that. She's done it all, right? So she's done MK677. That was her first foray into growth hormone stimulation. Uh, she really enjoyed that one. Uh, and I quote her here. She says, MK was just love, love, love for the first three months. Then the effect wore off. Uh, I use it occasionally now. Uh, she also has used CJC Ipomoral in the injectable. And she seems that's fine as well at very low doses, like 0 0.08. Um, she's used it a good amount of times uh, but she also says bioprotein is equivalent to these other two uh, she says all three has helped her sleep and her muscles now interestingly she uses this bioprotein at night so the recommendation is the bioprotein in the morning first thing she uses at night because it gives her the same sleep benefit as cjc or mk677 or ipamorelin which is very interesting cool. very cool I mean, uh, she, that makes sense from an, from an HGH perspective, right? I mean, it yeah. pulsates more at night. And... That's how I use these things is for sleep. For a lot of people, their sleep is terrible. And then you right. give them back some of these growth factors or growth hormone peptides and they sleep again. It's amazing. Have yeah. you ever tried our sleep product? You have a sleep product as well? No, I haven't gotten into that. We'll have to talk about that. So we have a PM, a specific PM product called Cortisleep that works in conjunction with BioPro. BioPro, we typically recommend you take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. But then we have a PM specific product, which is still derived from our growth factor formula. Um, and that's taken specifically at night, 30 minutes before your intended bedtime. And we have data from, you know, fitness watches or rings where your REM and deep sleep will jump to 300% in a matter of days. Huh, that's pretty wild. Yeah, I'll have to show you that. And we have another lady, she's uh, 66 years old, and I had her also on uh, peptides before, and she she had liked those. And then I said, well, let's just try out this thing, because my mom, she really liked it. And so she tried it for a month, and she noticed a lot of improvements, right? And then she went off it for a week because I ran out of it until I could get some more from you. And she was calling me up the next day. She was like, when are you getting it back? I can't go a week without this stuff. You're making me struggle. So this is what she says. She says, after starting back on the bioprotein, the very next day, she felt her energy back up and more clear in her thinking. She said, my skin is still, uh, uh, is still, uh, 
<clears throat> dry, but not as dry. Because when she was on it the first month, she said her skin was more moist. She has that that dry skin that a lot of older individuals run into. Sure. So she's trying to regenerate that again. She says it's much smoother. And uh, overall, I would like to keep taking it. I do feel it is definitely helping. Uh, she says um, her legs and feet are no longer cramping at night. Obviously, I've given her some other hormone replacements of progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, but she noticed a striking difference the moment she ran out of it, which is interesting. That's awesome. I, I love stories like that. That's when you know you have a a, a client for life mm -hmm. when they come off and they saw, they see the negative effect yeah. um, from People not taking it anymore. How oh, they don't even know what optimization is before mm -hmm. they do it. They think that it's aging or it's normal that they... Oh, you just get like this when you're older, you know, your right. points creak and you don't sleep very well and you feel brain fog and your skin is dry, but it's not normal. I tell patients that Western medicine wants you to live on a bell curve and they want you to accept the fact that on, when you're on the downside of that bell curve, that there's just part of the aging process. And uh, they kind of nod you off at that point. And I say, screw that. I mean, life should be like a box where you get here and you optimize that and then you stay there until your foot's in the grave and that's that's a, that's my goal and my, my sounds like it is yours too it is i've been taking it every day for the past i don't know four months whenever i met you at age management and i don't know if i've noticed like a striking difference like my older clients have but i've noticed my muscle mass has increased and people have commented that they're like well whatever you're doing like you're doing something right keep doing it yeah. I've gained a lot of muscle, it seems. My muscle is harder, and I feel like I can recover faster. I can hit chest and back every day, which is that's my favorite thing to do. If I can do chest and back every day, I'll do it. <laughs> and I am, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like skip a day. I want to keep doing it. That's awesome. Well, how old are you, Stefan? I'm 30. 30. Okay. So we know that growth hormone deficiency starts right after puberty and it decreases one to 2% a year. That's in the literature. So you're still within that, you know, you're theoretically at the give or take 90% of what you were creating at the peak of puberty, right? So oh, yeah. it makes sense that your older patients have a more profound effect, right? Um, just when I started, I used to tell people, hey, look, BioPro is great if you're over 35. Um, but now what we're seeing with the environmental changes and as it relates to your hormone profile I mean, we're seeing 20 year olds with testosterone free, the serum testosterone of 200 and, um, which is a huge problem, That's but cool. that, so I say now, you know, if you're old enough to vote, you're old enough to take BioPro. Yeah. I, so I play tennis tournaments, professional tennis tournaments, and I'm out there against kids, right? They're fifth, they're 15, they're 17. These kids are very elastic. <laughs> they can come bounce sure. back the next day on multiple day tournaments. They're perfectly fine. And I measure hormone panels in teens you know, for, for research uh, purposes. But also I feel like everyone should have a panel at their peaks to know what they, what it felt like to be 15 and be able to bounce back every day. Like right. wouldn't people know what that was, and no one does that except me. Cause I think it'd be great to have that as a, as a marker throughout your whole life. Right. So measure these kids, they have IGF one levels, 300, 400, 500, Right. Their, their testosterone levels are super high. I talk to these kids and I'm like, you are literally on anabolic steroids. You need right. to maximize your potential. Now you need to train. You need to eat good food. You need to gain muscle. And I, I try to put that seed in their head. Like you're on steroids right now. Op use that. Right. And sometimes you, a little light bulb switches on and they're like, they take their health a bit more seriously then. Right. <laughs> you're like, you can get away with eating Chick-fil-A McDonald's every day. You're going to burn through it. Your HGH is like super high. Right. Right. Now. Exactly. Take it seriously. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. And I love to see when that light bulb goes off. I have an eight year old in the other room right now who isn't quite there yet, but I'm trying to gently lay that sea. Right. I don't want to push too much, but I'm like, Hey dude, you know, let's clean up this diet now before we get into real growth time. Clean up, start training, lift some weights. Your body's just going to respond to it. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. And that's but why I think BioPro is so important because we, none of us can stop growth fact, growth hormone deficiency, right? I mean, that's just, that is a part of life. And 
thank God that there's a product that we can use. I mean, peptides are great, right? And and I love peptides. Peptides work. Um, there is the question of, you know, cycling and do you, do you actually cycle or, you know, patients certainly should. And, um, with BioPro, you don't have to, that's right. the, that's the beautiful thing of it. Um, you can stay on it for years and still get that benefit and not have to worry about side effects or, or health risks. Yeah. Now my IGF ones have been in the one thirties for a while now, and I'm going to do a panel and I'm going to measure my IGF one on bioprotein and see if it's gone up. Have you seen it go up? Have you measured much of this? I have. Um, and I have seen it come up not only from my patients, but from anecdotally from clinics that'll send in their results for patients. Um, we are doing a study right now out of Tampa um, just got IRB approval a couple of months ago, just went through the patient selection process. And so we'll have a formal um, in-house clinic study to report, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, I'm also doing um, a study with some of our doctors, um, doing a double blind study where I plan on doing just that. I'm focusing just on growth um, IGF-1. I'm focusing just on their hormone levels. Um, we're going to do a 90 day pre and post. Very yeah. simple. Um you know, and you know this, Stefan, it's hard to capture a good, reliable IGF-1 because of its pulsating nature. So, for example, those that are listening, you your your pituitary gland spits out growth hormone and pulses, right? So it all depends on when you draw. You could be at a, a peak of that pulse or you could be at a trough of that pulse. So, you know, consistency is key. And once you get that consistency with that particular patient, then you can get good, accurate measurements. Um, but it could be kind of tricky. So when, when I love to see the, the high IGF one numbers and for those who are competent in the draw, then I can trust it. But if I just get one or two, it's kind of hard to say, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I have one more case report on the bioprotein and this was in a veteran is about age 50 and he had a, a lot of issues, cognitive issues, uh, fogginess. <clears throat> so his report after using just one month, and he hadn't done any peptides. He had nothing to compare this to. So he says he liked it quite a bit. So I started right away and had about two weeks before starting it and testosterone in an attempt to see if I noticed a difference and what I could attribute the difference to. He said, with the BioPro, I have noticed more focus, cleared brain fog right off the bat, which led to increased drive and less procrastination throughout the day. Additionally, my metabolism feels like it has increased and become more active, more appetite while not feeling bloated or sluggish. Additionally, I feel like my endurance has increased in the short time since BioPro. Um, also, donating a pint of blood out of my system, my 20-mile bike ride time dropped from 79 minutes to 74 minutes in worse conditions. Uh, wow. Says he really enjoys it. So I got him on a, a second month and see if he can notice a continuation of these benefits. I love hearing stories like that. That's a beautiful thing. I have a, uh, I have a veteran in my practice who suffers from um, ocular seizures, from repeated concussive blows, traumatic brain injuries and whatnot. And I had him trial BioPro um, right when I first started as a distributor and his ocular seizures went away. He had none. And so like a lot of my patients, he was like, man, maybe this is a placebo. Maybe this is all in my head. And, and so he stopped. And within a couple of days, his ocular seizures came right back. And uh, he's been on it ever since without an ocular seizure. So um, I, I love hearing stories like that. It's it's uh, It can really be a game changer for folks. Yeah, I think the veterans can benefit a lot from multi-hormone replacement. They get so many blast injuries and hits in the head and all that chemical exposure. It seems to shut off a lot of their hormones, testosterone, DHEA, cortisol, growth hormone. These guys are pretty depleted when they get out. Yeah, I agree. And that's that's been my findings too. And it's unfortunate that going through the VA to try to get a hormone panel, much less testosterone, is uh, takes a literal act of Congress. Yeah. And um, it, it's really a shame. So I'm, I'm glad there's people like you to... To, to help them out with that and bypass the VA there. Yeah, you just kind of skip that whole VA hurdle and just go right to the source, direct primary yeah. here. That's what we do. Yep. And so do you use it as well yourself? Oh, yeah. I've been on BioPro for, we're coming up on three years straight now. Three years. Nice. Yep. The only time I miss is when I forget to put in my own order. <laughs> okay. 
And does it, do you ever get over the stinging sensation? Yeah. So a lot of people will describe BioPro and it tastes like battery acid or it tastes like, um, you know, a shot of fireball. No, it tastes like a, a shot of absinthe or, or vodka. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. So it does. Yeah. To me, I don't feel it anymore. I get to the point where um, I'll put the vial on top of my alarm clock, put it under my tongue and then go take my shower and I won't swallow it until I get out. Um, yeah just kind of forget about it. So yeah, you kind of become desensitized to that alcohol like sensation. Because that it has to be alcohol, it has to be a vodka or something. Like, we call it a genetic activator. Um, so what you're tasting is the, the formulas ability to increase absorption under the tongue. And so it dilates those little pores and vessels. So you can get we found that a, a increase of about 300% of absorption um, under the tongue that way. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, the one lady I have on it, she's very uh, natural, holistic, and throughout her life, she's used tinctures, and she's made the vodka tinctures. So I told her, I warned her it would sting, but she's like, oh, it didn't sting at all. This is nothing to me. Right, right. Yeah, she's used to the hard stuff. She is. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Good. Did you have any slide deck uh, you wanted to share or anything? Yeah, give me a second. Let me pull it up here. Um I got caught without it. So one second. Sure. And you can probably hit screen, uh, screen share here. I know I just sent it to you. So. Uh, oh, yeah, I can pull it up. Let's see here. I'll get it in just a second when I. Mm, yeah, here's the slide deck. Oh, here we go. Got it. Steph and I have a problem with opening 36,000 slides or uh, tabs hey, on the computer and it all slows down. I got it. Do you see this? Sure. Here's your presentation. Nice. I like the logo. The role of HGH. Yep. That whole Greek god look. Yeah. What is HGH? That's me. They just took my head off there, you know. Uh, so, um, for those that are listening who don't know anything that we're talking about as far as hormones go, um, human growth hormone is the body's essential master hormone, um, and it plays a very important role in our growth cycles during puberty. Um, it is a hormone that is produced in the pituitary gland right here uh, about in the neck. Um, after that, HGH doesn't really, it's not very useful until it is converted by the liver into something called growth factors. And so the analogy that I use is imagine that you own a Hilton hotel and you have 400 rooms in this hotel. Human growth hormone is the guy standing behind the counter and he's going to hand you your key, right? And that key is what is the growth factor or the cellular signal it gives a very specific instruction as to tell the body what to do. Maybe it's to grow your nails or make your hair thicker and stronger. Uh, maybe it's um, to help grow new vascular structures um, or help nerve endings. Um, and, and we notice increases in, in, in efficacy in all of these areas when we introduce BioPro into the system, because BioPro is just a collection of these growth factors, the end result of human growth hormone. Uh, you want to scroll down there a little bit. Hmm. And so Talk HGH about is HGH is terrific when we're going through puberty. That's what helps us get strong and big and tall and um, helps us go through, uh, utilize our sex hormones to complete the puberty process. Um, but after puberty, it starts to drop off. Like I said earlier, about one to 2% per year. So you can imagine somebody in their mid thirties might go to their provider and say, man, you know, I'm not recovering from leg day as, as well as I used to, or, you know, my, um, I, my energy just sucks or, you know, my libido is decreased. Um, all these are very common symptoms and usually providers don't have an answer for it. Um, and, and, you know, it could also increase that in, uh, increase in, in uh, visceral fat around the abdomen, and, um, signs of depression and anxiety, et cetera. Yeah. So that's kind of what I just touched on here. Those, the consequences of the decline there. Um, so a lot of people are being treated for depression and anxiety when really it's a growth factor or growth hormone issue. Yeah. Hormones. That's critical. Back when I worked in uh, psychiatry, they wanted me to stay in my lane and only push the psych pills. They never wanted me to measure hormone panels in men or women. Yeah. It, I mean, we could, 
we can talk an entire other hour or six about the the deficiencies in the Western medicine uh, way of thinking. Um, nice. Because you're right. I mean, they're about throwing a pill down your throat. That's it. So there are ways to increase your natural HGH production. Um, Stefan, you're, you're very good at using modalities to increase your body's hormone production, you know, with cold plunges and, um, you know, grounding yourself, you know, uh, eating a great holistic clean diet without preservatives or hyper palatable, uh, ingredients, ingredients you can't pronounce. Um, and then high intensity exercise, um, sleep, sleep is probably the most important thing. Um, Matt Frazier, uh, who is one of the big CrossFit guys, um, he was once quoted in saying, if humans didn't need sleep, sleep would be banned as a performance enhancing drug. Mm. Um, it's that important. So all of those things are great ways to increase naturally your HGH production or your testosterone production. Um, those are key. Yeah. Um, but you can only do so much. Um, so that's why supplementation might become important. Um, some of the potential benefits of adding human growth hormone treatment um, is reversing what we were just talking about, right? Um, reversing the um, visceral fat issue, reversing the anxiety and depression type symptoms, it's going to increase um, muscle mass, uh, bone density, increase energy levels. Um, the problem with that is that synthetic HGH um, has uh, a lot of stipulations and a lot of stigmas around it. Um, HGH is only a prescription medicine. It's controlled. And in fact, it is illegal to use for anti-aging purposes. Um, the, the, the DEA will come knocking on the clinician's door if you start writing for HGH to make people look and feel better. Um, HGH is typically used for people that are behind the growth curve in adolescence. Um, and it doesn't have a lot of adult indications. Um, and the reason behind this is, you know, during the anabolic steroid craze in the, you know, 80s, 90s, bleeding into the 2000s a little bit, um, people just abuse this stuff. And that's why testosterone is controlled now. That's why HGH has such a bad rap. Um, it does have side effects if used in excess, right? You can get carpal tunnel, you can get fluid retention, you know, more significant issues, you know, you can get cardiovascular problems. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it, it's a, it's a big issue if used incorrectly. Yeah. Um, it's also very expensive. I think in your area, it's about three or $4,000 a month, um, through, through get, some of these hormone clinics. Depending on dose. Yeah. You're looking at about thousand dollars a month sometimes. Yeah. At least. So that's why we're so, um, thrilled to have the formula that BioPro is, um, because I'm comfortable in saying it gives you, uh, HGH or Ipamorelin, Samorelin like benefits, uh, without the needles, without the side effects, it's completely safe. And, uh, the benefits are realized they're there. Yeah. So this is a breakdown of what growth factors are in BioPro. Um, all of these have their specific uses and measurements, but IGF one is typically the one that's, um, the sexiest. Um, it's the one that's easily most easily measured, even though it's not very easy to measure. Um, and it's the one that people are most common, um, most common with, but it also has EPO and it has epidermal growth factor. It has nerve growth factor. Um, it will help with, um, fibroblast growth factor will help with uh, collagen development. So. There's a lot of realized and unrealized benefits here. Wow. Yeah, the osteoporosis thing. That's something that I talk to a lot of my older female clients about is hormone optimization to prevent osteoporosis. Like, how do we treat osteoporosis in commercial medicine? Uh, it's with those nasty drugs that give you esophagitis. Yep. You have to sit up straight after taking them so you don't burn your throat. Right. Uh, but osteoporosis is a lack of hormones with age. That's what it is. Right. Correct. Absolutely. And I mean, in, in essence, it's a death sentence at the end of the day. I mean, if you fall and break your hip because your bones were too weak to support yourself, then um, you die within the next five years. They have a 50% yep. chance of dying. It's not good. No. And so we know how important consistency is. Um, there's a lot of people who don't need external motivations to take products. Uh, some people do. So 
inside of every kit, there is a little QR code that you scan. It'll enable you to uh, register our automated system where you get a text message in the morning to remind yourself, hey, take your BioPro. When you click on the link, it'll give you a timer and a calendar um, to show you consistency. Um, mm -hmm. The whole box has been designed around consistent use um, yep. to track your days, to track your weeks. And um, cool. Yeah, stay consistent. Nifty. All right, good stuff. Well, that'll help fix. <clears throat> I'll point patients to this video when they want to learn about bioprotein. Um, yeah, please do. And uh, if you want, share it with me and I'll put it on your YouTube channel as well. Oh, great. Yeah, you got a YouTube channel. You got to have a podcast, right? Well, I yeah, I do for many different things. Uh, but BioPro has their own um, YouTube channel where we put up a lot of podcasts like this, where we talk with other physicians. And um, absolutely, we'll help get the word out for you. Okay, good stuff. Well, thanks for doing this with me. Yeah, Stefan, any, anytime, man. All right, we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.